Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn absorption by roots chapter. This is the second video on this chapter. We have been doing a lot of chapters prior. If you have not yet watched it, please do watch. And if you find them useful, please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends as well. So let's see what we are going to understand today. The topic is called diffusion and experiments on it. What is meant by diffusion? To know this, we should know this concept of solute and solvent. If I have a glass of water into which I am adding a spoon of sugar, let's say, the water that I have used for dissolving this sugar is called as the solvent and the sugar that I added into the solvent is called as the solute. Now, once the solute is in the solvent, this liquid I am going to call as solution. So, I hope that much is clear to you because we need that information for all the experiments in this chapter. So, what does diffusion define? How do you define diffusion? Let's see that. Okay. Diffusion states that it is the movement of free movement of any molecules. Okay. It can be a solute molecule moving or a solvent molecule moving. It can be any of this movement, free movement. What is meant by free movement? Free movement means no energy is required. Free movement of what? Free movement of solute or solvent. How is it moving? It's moving from where it is more in number to where it is less in number. Whenever something is more in number, we call that to be high concentration. High concentration. Alright. So, let's define it again. It is a movement of either the solute or the sol solvent freely, that is without any energy requirement, from high concentration area to low concentration area. Let's see, understand it with this example. Okay, so you have a beaker in which there is water to which you are adding some molecules of dye. You can imagine it to be ink. The moment this falls, it's falling here. The molecules of the dye are here. As time passes, what happens to the dye molecules? It starts moving from where it is more in number. This is where it is very high in number. So, we call that area to be high concentration area. From there, it starts moving to places where it is less in number. So, it starts moving in all the directions. Till when does it happen? It happens till the entire water is filled with the same amount of dye molecules. In other words, till it reaches equilibrium. So, let's define it. Again, diffusion is the free movement of molecules. What kind of molecule? It can be solute also, solvent also. From high concentration area to low concentration area. To this definition, you have to add their high concentration area to low concentration area. I hope this is clear. Let's understand osmosis now. 